Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. Okay, so I have started a new video series on uh, building a, a real-time data analysis application or solution using a Spark Structure Streaming, Cassandra, MySQL and the new visualization tool called uh, the open source uh, uh, visualization framework called uh, Superset. Okay, so in this video, I am going to demonstrate the, uh, the application or the solution, uh, how it works and uh, we'll, from the next video we'll start from the environment setup and the each application walkthrough okay each uh, application walkthrough in the in the each each uh, section of the uh, project okay uh, thank you let's go to the uh, uh, the the demonstration let me minimize my recording window so this is the application we saw right so we have a uh, uh, so basically uh, a demo <coughs> the the sales data by uh, uh, grouped by uh, uh, lead source where the lead has come from which source are either twitter or google or uh, facebook and we have uh, uh, the same uh, uh, the sales data with respect to source lead source as a pie chart and the bar chart with respect to uh, uh, source and the state okay let's uh, uh, run our uh, uh, solution and we'll see how it works okay so let me log into my uh, virtual machine Okay, so uh, currently I uh, uh, removed, excuse me, uh, removed my uh, data. Okay, so uh, I cleared my, I clear my data in my SQL table because uh, this all data for your uh, tabular format as well as a pie chart and the bar chart all are comes from my SQL table. I just went and my SQL, I cleared it. Okay, so basically I dropped, I deleted all the records from my SQL. Okay, now it's a very empty uh, table. Okay, there's a table which I have the sold total sales by uh, source and state as a table name. Uh, I will I will show you uh, when we go through the each uh, section of the uh, project. We'll we'll actually uh, go through the table structure everything. We we'll just we'll think that the, 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 there's a table and uh, now currently we don't have data. Okay, and I am going to now uh, run the two application. One is the uh, Spark, uh, uh, sorry, Scala producer, which is actually, uh, I mimic the data. Okay, so we have uh, uh, say, uh, the orders data uh, in my uh, data set. Okay, so I have two, uh, uh, three files. Okay, so I told you I took uh, orders data, which is sales data. And then I, I took uh, uh, <coughs> products data, okay, and customer data. So three, these three are the data set I took, right? So those three data sets, I have it in a, a three different files. Okay. So let me show you. So this is the, this is the order data. Okay. I'm opening the files. Okay. So it is there as a CSV file. Okay. So it contains the order ID uh, when the order is created and the discount of the uh, particular transaction the product of which they purchase project product id and the quantity and the subtotal which of tax and tax and total amount and the customer id this is the uh, data set coming from the uh, ss as a streaming manner okay so from kafka producer so I think that is this data whenever the people uh, purchase them uh, item in the e-commerce site that data will come to the uh, uh, Kafka uh, broker using the Kafka producer. Kafka producer take the data, transaction data and push it to the Kafka topic. I have a topic called uh, orders topic. Okay, so uh, that orders topic uh, uh, take this data and uh, then from there uh, a Spark streaming application uh, uh, pick, uh, uh, consumes the data from the topic. Uh, so uh, then we'll do the processing. Okay, I will walk through this program uh, uh, in the next video. We'll just run and show you the uh, demo. Okay, so I'm going to run the Kafka producer. Okay, which will actually uh, take the data which set which I showed the order data set and it will be uh, pushing data to the Kafka topic called uh, uh, orders topic. Okay, so I'll just start this uh, application. So it is going to it's, it's, it's going to take the data sets, the CSV, fee, CSV file, and it's going to take each uh, uh, <coughs> record as a uh, JSON file, which forms as a JSON file, uh, and it send it to the Kafka topic. Okay, so this data every one or um, one second, the data is coming to the Kafka topic. Okay, so now I'll just go to the Spark streaming application. Okay, so I'm going to run this application. 
where this contains the entire processing both the data ingestion as well as the uh, data processing okay i will explain you the entire program in the next video uh, coming up video we'll see in this program we'll just run and see how it works okay i am running this so it is actually uh, uh, so it is actually running this uh, uh, project now initially it is starting with uh, um, starting the application so it will actually uh, uh, start consuming the messages from the orders topic okay so if you look at the uh, uh, if you look at this uh, data this data is coming to the orders topic this all is json messages now we are going to process this json message uh, we are going to process this json message in the spark streaming okay and we write okay we write into the uh, 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 process data into mysql and also raw data into the uh, uh, the cassandra okay so cassandra i will actually run and show you how the raw data looks okay so spark streaming application is running uh, my vm got little slow because i put a lot of uh, application here okay so let me uh, um, pass on this video for some time let it get uh, uh, publish some data okay uh, sorry for the uh, uh, the delay okay so my vm is little slow so i just pass on the video to just push some data okay so it has pushed some data it's processed some data and pushed it uh, let us uh, go and see how it looks like the data okay so let me minimize recording window okay so if you look at here so it has pushed the some of the it did it, it does the aggregate it already made the aggregate uh, so what are the data we got is basically the bus so actually each so in spark structure streaming so what it so it actually it's a kind of a, a micro batch processing right so each batch you can actually uh, do the processing so you can set the batch interval i set it as 15 seconds so in the first batch so i capturing the batch id also so in the first batch uh, there is a of uh, <coughs> three different uh, the lead sources come facebook affiliate to okay facebook and affiliate but came from different states okay so it has done the aggregates based on the source and the state okay now it has stored the data here okay so let me run uh, one more time is there any new record has come yeah there are a lot of records have come now we will go and see the uh, dashboard we will refresh the dashboard okay so let me refresh the my dashboard now it is going to uh, get the data from the mysql table okay and it is slow refresh is loading loading okay so uh, because of this vm right okay fine so let me minimize my uh, pause on my video okay so now now it has loaded okay okay so if you see here now the data is loaded uh, for the different uh, um, different source and uh, uh, the state wise okay so google from google uh, tx texas there are this much amount of uh, uh, transaction been made so you can see in the tabular format and also pie chart so this chart basically uh, uh, made uh, the this aggregation for the pie, pie chart is uh, uh, made based on the only source lead source okay and if in the below you see So this is for uh, 
uh, for both uh, um, source the lead source and also from stable state this this uh, uh, this transactions are being made okay so the transaction uh, is in the texas is made more okay so uh, different states so why have uh, different different states uh, uh, what is the uh, uh, the amount of sales uh, is made all are shown in the bar chart so this is this this way you can actually build a very good uh, dashboard using a, a super set uh, open source visualization tool um, yeah so uh, so we will we'll actually uh, uh, seen in this video so how to get the uh, how the data is getting using the kafka so we we just ran the program i will explain you uh, on another video uh, give you detailed explanation about uh, the kafka producer which is generating this orders data and also the streaming application now it is processing or uh, storing the raw data in uh, um, uh, cassandra and as well as the process data in mysql okay so i hope this video is helpful uh, uh, we'll see in the next video uh, thank you so much friends